What's up guys? Welcome back to our channel. It's Lena with Bonanza Creep and today I'm really excited to be talking to you about one more interesting ICO project. The Centralized Autonomous Vehicles Network, a new platform for the exchange of personal scale transportation services. Personal and public transport has long been at the forefront of innovation as its nature is undergoing drastic changes in response to the continuous development of related technologies. Those technologies include not only the vehicles themselves, but also increasingly IT innovations, the revolutionary impact of which upon the industry could be seen in the rise of Uber and similar companies. It is now widely believed that the next big thing in the industry will be a convergence of those trends with autonomous vehicles from driverless cars and bus to commercial drones, being integrated with the internet-enabled sharing economy. For the moment, the widespread adoption of autonomous vehicles remains a future prospect. Still, it seems like every month brings some new development in the field, so perhaps the future is not so far off. In the meantime, even ordinary manned vehicles are becoming more and more computerized and connected with the internet. The Decentralized Autonomous Vehicles Foundation believes the time is now to start creating a new decentralized transportation infrastructure, built on the blockchain and connecting a variety of both manned and unmanned vehicles and other services to change the way we move goods and ourselves. The connected tissue of this transportation system of tomorrow is called the DAF network. Each entity on the network, whether a person, a vehicle or a service, is given a unique pseudonymous DAF identity stored on the blockchain and accessed with a private key. While personal information is private, the transaction history of each identity is not, making it possible to assess their reliability. The entities are brought together by means of the centralized node discovery process, based on Kadamlia DHT. This enables secure peer-to-peer -peer communication between different identities, in addition to transactions that will take place on the blockchain itself. Using this elaborate system, a buyer would be able to broadcast a need with all the necessary details to other identities that are able to provide the specified service. Any of those identities can then respond with bids, including relevant details like the price and current location. Once an agreement has been reached, a smart contract will be created with the use of the platform's native utility DAV tokens, which are used for all transactions on the platform. The system is very versatile and could be used in many different ways – to hire a taxi, to arrange for a delivery, to recharge a drone at a charging station, and so on. Both manned and unmanned vehicles could participate in the network, provided they have the capability to interact with the platform. Intermission peer-to-peer communications will allow multi-step smart contracts to control deliveries at every stage or to enable cooperation between vehicles on nearby routers to increase efficiency. Third-party arbitrators and insurers with their own identities will provide their own services through the same decentralized system to help mitigate counterparty risk if so required. Users will be able to earn tokens by providing vehicles, charging equipment, insurance or any number of other services on the network. The platform itself is open source and developer friendly. Another way to earn tokens would be to develop software or hardware for use within the network or to manufacture open source vehicles. The DAP Foundation plans to encourage integration of new vehicles with this technology both through incentives and by developing special tools to simplify the process. Of course, ordinary clients will also benefit from cheap and reliable transport services. The DAP Foundation also intends to accelerate the ecosystem's development by designating DAF cities based on their overall friendliness to autonomous vehicles. Provided identities in those cities will receive DAF tokens out of pool formed by purchasing at market prices as incentives to continue and perhaps expand their participation in the system. The team behind the DAF network includes members and advisors with extensive experience in both automotive and crypto industries. It has a number of prominent partners within the emerging industry and is working to expand its support base still further. There are hopes of turning the DAV network into a neutral hub for the fleets of autonomous vehicles currently being developed separately by different businesses such as various delivery and taxi services. Perhaps most importantly, it has rallied a great deal of support within both crypto and business communities. It is riding the wave of popular enthusiasm 
for driverless vehicles and for sharing economy. All this is doubly important given the Dev Foundation's emphasis on creating an ecosystem and encouraging further contributions from the community, its transparency with regard to its day-to-day -day operations, and the ongoing development of protocols to be used within the platform is very helpful to this end. Another key advantage of the developing network is its sheer versatility. It is able to effectively accommodate both manned and unmanned vehicles while trying to anticipate the various demands created by the more widespread introduction of the latter. It can also be used to devise an assortment of contracts between different types of users. The identity system is ingenious. Combined Currently, the eventual permeation of transport by autonomous vehicles appears increasingly likely, while unforeseen developments may certainly delay or derail it. For the moment, commercial drones and driverless cars are becoming more and more common and advanced. If the vision at the heart of the DEV project comes true and autonomous vehicles end up ruling the roads and the skis, there can be no question that the services are reliable and the dynamic platform would be required, and that the DEV network's decentralized, blockchain-based model will be well-suited for those purposes. It may well end up playing an indispensable role in the future of public transport and delivery services, particularly on the smallest scale. None of this is guaranteed, though. Fortunately, the DAP Foundation has been willing to hedge its bets by also working with manned vehicles and generally leaving room for flexible development. Likewise, it has put a lot of thought into different ways of encouraging activity within the ecosystem. The team's experience in crypto industry shows in its sophisticated approach towards interacting with the community. Ultimately, the main focus on the project is on preparing to meet a demand that has not yet fully come into its own and is so doing to encourage the development and implementation of the technologies involved. Whether this proves to be a viable approach or not remains to be seen. This review by Bonanza Crib is all opinion and analysis, not investment advice. So thank you so much, guys, for coming to our channel. If you want to learn more about this project, Please follow the links below. We do appreciate your thumbs up, your subscriptions, and your comments. It was Bonanza Creep, and I'll see you guys in the next video.